Hey guys, I just wanted to make you this quick video to show you how I did the swipe method with color shift paints and all of the mishaps that happened to lead up to getting those really amazing effects that I'm pretty happy about. So, here we go. So, here I'm mixing my paint and um, this time I didn't use any type of formula for measuring out my paint. Um, I'm just kind of adding them right out of the tube. And then what I'll do is I'll just directly add my Floetrol and mix that in really good and add my silicone. Um, I'm mixing these separately and then I end up adding them to a cup. Okay, so here is where I started. I've got my colors mixed. Floetrol and blaster silicone is what I've been using for my mixture. So I've got them all mixed up and I'm putting down black at the top because that's what I'm going to swipe down with on top of all the other colors. So next I'm adding uh, strips of paint uh, with greens, blues, purples, and then I'm doing pink at the bottom. Um, from what I've seen, the best thing to swipe with is a paper towel. It's soft and it kind of sits on that top layer and then you drag it and you get some really, really amazing cellular activity. Uh, as you can see here, um, they're going to start popping up. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. My angle is a little off. Um, I'm going to be working on that in the future for the videos. The glare is hitting that really wet paint in such a way that you're not able to see the the color of these cells that are popping through. Um, it's got the colors kind of washed out on the cells right now, but um, they're really vibrant. Um, really, really cool looking. Love them. Okay, so I'm going to give those cells some time to pop up and then I'm going to go in with this glove and try to pull some of that color up that's underneath that black at the top. So I end up doing this for a while, playing with the glove technique, which um, I really like, but I'm still kind of experimenting with how I'm doing these swipes. So what I do is I end up swiping up from where those good cells are. I end up swiping off the green balloon smushes that I just did. So, Right here with the balloon, um, I was just trying to add color in places that there weren't. So I was trying to put the color on the glove before I did the smash, the smush, <laughs> before I did the smush, um, to try to get some color into that area um, where I wanted something more than just green and blue. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, what I did notice is that a lot of times you can put that color on that balloon or that glove that you're going to smush and sometimes it'll put it under, underneath that layer that you have, like you're kind of pushing it down and under. So what will happen is it will pop back up and come back to the top as a cell or like a little bubble. And you'll still get that pop of color, maybe not as vibrant as you wanted it, but it may be even better. Yeah, this is where I decide to keep experimenting. I probably should have left it alone. I definitely probably should have left it alone. Um, it probably would have looked cool if I just let it rest in the cell, let the cells develop. But I swiped it and um, this is what happens which I kind of like this too, and this is where I decide to leave it alone, and I'm going to take it and let it go dry, and that's when it gets messed up. All the cells fell off, it set it down right, it was a level, all the cells fell off. So I bring it back in here, and here I am trying the dip technique for the first time, because I had so much paint down there. So 
was a lot of cells at the bottom of my pour tray. So I take the canvas and press it down and kind of dip it into that paint that's down there looking all beautiful with all the cells in it. Um, and it, it sometimes it works really well. Um, it just picks those cells right up or it makes new ones. Um, the, the act of lifting that canvas up is making the paint slide and that paint sliding around against each other mixed up with silicone is what creates that magic. Um, I was really impressed with the dip technique. Um, actually kind of got carried away and went through, <laughs> went through my whole brand new pack of canvases I had just bought. Um, may have gotten in trouble for doing that just a little bit, but I'm lucky I'm loved. I did my dip and I set my cup stand up and I start adding little puddle pours of black. Um, trying to add some more depth, well, maybe a little bit of dimension if we get lucky. Okay, so I decide to uh, try to bring a little magic to this one and this is where I mix up the color shift paints. This is the first time I'm using them for a paint pour um, at all. I've never paint poured with these color shift paints before. I've been wanting to, um, but this is the first time. So right here, what I'm seeing is that they're layering really well. And even when I'm not getting cells, there's this layer of blue iridescence on top and it's so magical, so pretty. I love it. So I end up adding some more and playing with it some more with the straw, um, which works really well too. You can get some really cool effects just drizzling it on there and spreading it out with a straw. Um, really cool like iridescent glaze effects which you know will sell too um, there's a lot of a lot of really cool effects you could get with this this color shift it's beautiful it okay so since I like those effects so much of that color shift paint um, now I'm adding a really nice thick stripe to the top of this one um, to do a swipe and that's what really makes this painting is I think doing a, doing the swipe with the color shift layer on top there we go. Oh, I love this one so much looks like some of it was kind of thick but then here at the bottom it thins out and immediately you can see the cells popping they just continue, they continue to pop, 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 pop. I love, love, love this paint. Even if it had just stayed like that, I would have loved it. Oh, man. Oh, I love those. That's so pretty. I'm gonna have to put this in my bedroom. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell this one. Sometimes when I see like there's an air bubble or a cell that's about to pop, sometimes if you just like lightly hit it with a little bit of air out of the straw, it'll um, influence it to go ahead and pop for you. Um, right here I just go in with the glove again, which as you can see works amazing with, I don't know if this color shift paint is just magic or what, but the it reacts, it sells up so quickly. It's it's beautiful. Sorry about my painting hands. <laughs> my family's used to it. I've got paint on my hands all the time. Um, saying in my houses when there's paint on her, it just means she's happy. I'm lucky. I love them. They're, my family's so supportive and awesome. 
Well, that's about all I've got for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.